Our house, rumor is, it used to be a brothel. I feel like a present. It's like very like Woo! sort of Western. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it with you. Hello, I'm Patricia Davis, practicing witch and psychic medium. I'm here to take you on a journey to the other side. Let's talk extra sensory perception. That could be through mediumship, through using mind control. Be good, Patricia. Or telekinesis. <laughs> well, don't have total control over telekinesis, but with a piece of paper, a toothpick, and an eraser, here's how to enhance your skills. Fold the paper into a pyramid, balance on your toothpick, and bam, command your wheel to spin. Look at that, the power of energy, extra sensory perception. Want to enhance your ESP skills this new year? Stay tuned for an easy tip to calm the mind and strengthen intuition. But first, I am conjuring Jerry O'Connell to my show. Hi, Jerry. My name is Patricia Davis. I'm a practicing witch and a psychic medium. And I want to know from you, Jerry, if you have any creepy, scary, supernatural stories you'd like to share here in Calabasas with my wife and kids. We live on a little bit of property. Our house is a little older and rumor is it used to be a brothel. Like it's like very like Woo! sort of Western. I know. <laughs> I used to be kind of Western-y. I'm, I'm doing it with you. Yay. It used to be Western out here. A lot of uh, horse country. When we first got here, there were like little rooms sectioned off and rumor is that they were used for brothel clients. And so sometimes at night, it's very quiet around here. If I have to do something outside in the darkness, I do feel like, uh, I feel like a presence. I've grown a tolerance. I try not to be scared of spirits. Jerry, I love your energy. As you know, I'm a psychic and a medium. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Let's do a tarot reading. I mean, Ooh. I like everybody else. I'm I guess I'm concerned professionally. The future is a little cloudy. Well, the Hierophant. This card encourages you to be open to new knowledge and experiences and not to be afraid of being the student. I feel that either you're going to get a call or you've already been called to do something not just familiar, but, but again, because you're true to your craft, you are going to be sitting in the driver's seat. Have you ever directed? Just your smile. Come on, Jerry. I gotta tell you, I've seen, I've seen these done on television and stuff, and I've never believed them. Oh, I'm a little skeptical, especially when it's done over that it's not pre-planned. I didn't mean to offend. I'm sorry. Oh um, no, no, no! I honor that. I honor that. I have been trying to break into television directing for a few years now. I've done a lot of shadowing of directors, and it's just it's tough to sort of reinvent yourself in this town but i just got a text about a potential lead i mean days ago i cannot believe you're saying this i don't tell anyone that because i have a superstition about like potential jobs <laughs> i get a really good feeling about this for you it's just not complicated um wow i'm blown away well i, I just got a little <laughs> speechless which is hard for me here you go <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> My medium, Patricia. You blew me away. I'm coming back. I'm going to have an amazing report to uh, give you. Look, I'm going to do the hands. <laughs> yeah. Feel the vibe. There you go. I am going to show you how you can use your own psychic abilities through the simplistic pendulum made out of quartz crystal using the basic energy from the palm of my hand. Can you see it moving? I can. So what I need to do right now is clear my brain. One must respect your pendulum. So I'm going to say nicely, stop please. Thank you. Can I have my yes position? Ooh, look at that. Wants to go in a nice little circle. My yes position is a circle. Now can I have my no position? Thank you. No is straight line up and down. Am I going to have a fun night tonight? Oh yeah, baby. I got a big circle. And now my little witches, make your own pendulum at home. As long as your object has some form of point, this little ditty came from a sports store, fishing weight. I took a craft string, tied it around, easy breezy. The universe has all the answers that you could ever want to know. Just 
ask. Hello, caller. My name is Patricia Davis. I am your practicing witch and psychic medium. This is Carrie calling from the city of Angels, Los Angeles. Do you have a, a supernatural story to share? I was the information booth attendant at the largest cemetery in America. Everywhere else, everybody was bugging me and asking me where the restroom was. I would go to sleep in the mausoleum because it was the only place, in my opinion, I could rest in peace. I sleep there regularly because nobody knows where I'm at. Nobody can bother me. Nobody alive can bother me. You know how if you close your eyes, you can feel like somebody standing next to you? Yes. I would feel like people standing there and I would look over and it wouldn't be anybody. So I go back to sleep. A couple of times I would feel somebody pressing me down. Two times it happened specifically, somebody was pressing something else down. They were pressing my mausoleum down. Kind of like they're inspecting my chicken nuggets or something, looking at different things I got, my kibbles and bits. I think those were some grown women, the way they were handling me. You keep them on at your end, okay? And another thing, I went to the restroom one time and we have those motion sensor restrooms. So I was in the restroom, I'm sitting in there and the light goes out. I looked around, you know, you can look under your stall and you can see nobody standing around you. I smelled like a perfume. I smelled oh, like a breeze of perfume and it was lavender. Okay. And I hear somebody go, excuse me. It sounded like a girl said it, excuse me. And I proceeded to run for my life like I had never ran before out of the restroom. I already know like for you being clear audience, she spoke to you. You could smell her clear aroma. We kind of put it together. You have that gift, that extra sensory perception. You were able to pick up on psychic energy through what I would call the clairs, that supernatural shazam to your senses that allows you to receive your psychic messages. Are you able to talk to spirits somewhere else? If I got a particular spirit I want you to reach, can you do that? Do you have a name of that yes. spirit? Carol Ann Collier? That's her Ooh. name. I loved her. She was my good friend for 25 years. She, okay, Carol Ann is coming through. She's got so many little prisms to her. She's incredibly vibrant. She's like a kaleidoscope to me. She saw things and took joy in the smallest of things, Carrie. And, and I really felt like you connected her to that. You bring her so much peace and happiness that with all this activity psychically going on, mm -hmm. I felt her just so happy that she still has you. Does she come through to you in any dream vision to have a conversation? She, she has, wants to talk. Yes, she wants to know how her dog is doing. She <gasps> had a Bichon freak. Is that Carol? That's Carol and that's her dog, Rick. Oh, joy in the smallest of things. That's where her love is and she shared that with you. She told me one day her dog's gonna come and pee in my room, you know? <gasps> <laughs> and he did come pee on my floor. So they found a, a lady Carol's age and now he's like giving her love. That's everything to her. It's more than she could ever want. I just want to thank you, Carrie, for being on the Dead Don't Knock. Thank you for having me, Patricia. You're a real blessing. To enhance your ESP skills, you need to get grounded. Try a physical activity like running or my fave, having a dance party to ground your energy and help you get into a meditative state. Good night, my little witches, and I will be seeing you next week for the dead. Don't knock. Hi, Ida. When I was younger, I used to always talk about my grandfather rocking me. I could describe him. I could see him. I can feel him. And my mom wouldn't break it to me until I got older. No, he died before you were born.